Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So I've decided to try this weekly. Uh, the <laughs> two week thing was a bit of a hassle to edit and uh, one week seems to be uh, not too much time to get this done. So let's do this quick uh, five to eight minute videos on what I got accomplished this week. So you're looking at me doing the um, trim tabs for the elevators. Uh, the RV-10 has two trim tabs, one on each elevator, which is twice as many <laughs> as uh, in the 9. The 9 just has a trim tab on the left elevator. It's the same trim tab, um, but you just get two of them. There's an interesting mechanism uh, that goes in there. There's not two trim tab servos. It's one servo that's got sort of a cam system and two uh, push-pull rods or push-pull cables, rather, connecting them. Um, I've uh, started playing around with uh, what that mount looks like for the push-pull cable. I think you actually see it a little later. But uh, you're seeing us. Um, it's a nice warm day. Uh, I'm starting to work on some of the tail cone parts. You see some of those bulkheads coming together and still slowly finishing up the elevators. Uh, you may have noticed that one of the elevators is partially riveted and the other one is not. Um, we do finish one of them, uh, I believe, this past week, uh, or that could have been today. Um, and the other one, I was waiting for a rear um, rear spark that I unfortunately damaged during the build. So I had to order another one, and that took, uh, I want to say, almost three weeks to get shipped from Vans to, to get here, maybe two weeks. Um, took a little longer than we expected. Uh, they are probably swamped, as I imagine everybody is building everybody who's wanted to build an airplane is building airplanes right now so you see the bulkheads that i put together um, on the back they're just clicoed right now and these are the j channel stringers that stiffen the the fuselage you'll see a little later we actually put those together and here we're uh, riveting that elevator um, riveting the the skins to the spars as you can see now um, and the spars to the uh, ribs we're in there and just generally closing that out that elevator gets done uh, this week you'll also notice the trailing edge on that elevator it's got sort of a shorter looks like maybe two and a half feet um, there's a there's an, a wedge uh, that's right there on the table right now and you pro seal the wedge in which is what we're doing right now you sort of glue it in and then you put the clicos in place and you weigh it down you see the the weights and the board right there just to sort of hold it in place and we let that sit for three or four days. The I had an older can, or an old, let's call it old, a <laughs> can of Pro Seal um, from the previous build that I'm uh, comfortable using for things like this um, that aren't actually have to be you know fuel tight or air tight or anything like that. Um, it's definitely much stiffer and it takes a little longer for it to set, but that's not a big deal. So uh, I just let it set for three or four days and it just works. So here is the um, tail cone of the airplane with the bulkheads, um, and you see the, the blue stringers in the middle there. Uh, there will also be some that go on the sides, and you'll notice we'll roll that over at some point and start riveting the sides. Um, here we're closing out the rudder. Uh, you can see on the table there on the left uh, by rolling the skins and riveting the skins just to get it out of the way. So here, here we are. Um, so the tail cone, coming together, finishing up those uh, J channels and going to slide them in. And then um, Mary and I are going to rivet them in place. I'm sorry, not rivet them in place, uh, drill them. Uh, the J channels don't have any holes in them. So you sort of align them and then you um, drill the holes into them. Uh, the skin has the, the pilot holes in place. So you, you align it and then you just carefully uh, drill the holes and click with them all in place. And then of course you tear everything apart and redoing it. You'll also notice that on the table on the left there, there's a bunch of like just random parts. That, yeah, there we are, drilling holes. Um, oh, that's interesting to watch it. The, the, the tail cone sort of rotate on the, it's not the most sturdy of uh, <laughs> um, ways to hold up a tail cone. It's just on two benches, on two stools. But anyway, so sorry, the, um, on the left there are just random small parts that I'm looking ahead on the instructions and deburring them and just like assembling them and um, things that are individual assemblies that just match drill to each other. I'm just getting ready because I know we're going to be priming stuff in the next couple of days. So whenever I have some time um, and I want to do something a little different, I'm just catching, you know, like jumping ahead, if you will. 
But yeah, so this is the past video, past week in videos. This is the first week in May, and uh, it's currently Saturday, May 9th, and that was all the way up to yesterday. We already spent a few hours on it today, and you'll see that in next week's video. Enjoy, subscribe, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Good day.